Shalom. Kala lal Yahweh b'ashem Yahweh shai b'ashem Raka kodesh. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the Akiam, the brothers pushing this truth through the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. To the scattered, respectable Buddhist rights to be scattered among the heathen, I say Shalom, and I say Shalom unto the few and faithful Aqua, the sisters, the faithful sisters listening and learning. This is your brother Yerushalam from the GMS Prophetic Vibrations Camp, out of Trinidad and Tobago, coming at you with another video through the spirit and power. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakodash. Alright, this video will be entitled Grievous Sores, you know, from Microchip Implant. Alright, Grievous Sores from Microchip Implant because, you know, you know, it was it was found, you know, through studies, alright, that um, this microchip is going to be cause, is causing cancer, alright, for people, alright, and, um, you know, all this information has been hidden and downplayed, right? But I got this article um, from my brother, all right? You know, it's dated September 9, 2007, all right? Um, from C, is it CBS or CNBC? You know, um, NBC News dot, NBCnews.com, so, so here, all right? So I'm going to go into this article here, and then I'll show you a video, an actual video, Showing the saw, you know, from my brother's video, GMS Watchman, you know, the saw that's boosting out on um on a on a guy's skin, you know, and they they keeping those things silent, you know. If there's one if there's one instance, it's likely to be much more than one. Alright. So um let's go here. This is medical microchip for people may cause cancer. Alright? So it reads when the US Food and Drug Administration approved implanting microchips in humans. The manufacturer said it would save lives, letting doctors scan the tiny transponders to access patients' medical records almost instantaneously. The FDA found reasonable assurance, so that's what they're basing your life on, reasonable assurance. All right? Reasonable, and I think we better get to go into that word, reasonable. You know? Reasonable says having sound judgment fair and sensible and point two is as much as is appropriate or fair moderate and it's it's it's, it's talk more the second definition here all right as much as is appropriate or fair it's only fair and moderate and not 100 but they said it it basically saying it's not 100 percent sure all right so that's how they, they they're not 100 percent sure on this thing all right let's go back here all right, so the FDA found reasonable assurance the device was safe and a sub-agency even called it one of 2000, 2005's top innovative technologies. All right, but neither the company nor the regulators publicly mentioned this. You know, there was a series of veterinary and toxicology studies dating back to the mid-1990s stated that um, chip implants had induced malignant tumors in some lab rat lab mice or and rats all right so they were malignant tumors found you know in the in the lab mice and and rats you know and usually when they have these things happening the same thing would occur in humans because they they basically use these mice and these rats as as um as, tri as for trials you know trials for the drugs trials for the, the different technology all right it reads the transponders were the cause of the tumors, right, which is the RFID transponders, right, said Keith Johnson, a retired toxicology pathologist, right, explaining in a phone interview the findings of a 1996 study he led at the Dow Chemical Company in Midland, Michigan. So this thing, this, this study, studies have been going on for, for years, you know, right. Leading cancer specialists reviewed the research for the Associated Press and while cautioning that animal test results do not necessarily apply to humans, said the findings troubled him. You know, and I mean, yeah, in, in some cases, you know, because humans don't exactly like animals, but, you know, in, in, major, in, in 90% or probably more, you know, of cases, you know, it would affect humans the same way. So he said the findings troubled them. Some said that they would not allow family members to receive implants 
and all urge further research before the class in case transponders are widely implanted in people. All right? To date, about 2,000 of the so-called radio frequency identification or RFID devices have been implanted in humans worldwide. And this was back in this was back then, 2005, 2007, I think, right? 2007. But it's a lot more now. All right? You got a hell of a lot more now, you know, especially in those European countries like Sweden. All right. Uh, so according to Very Chip Corp, the company which sees a target market of 45 million Americans for its medical monitoring chips insists the devices are safe as does its parents company Applied Digital Solutions of Delray Beach, Florida and you know and, and I'm sure if I go into the um, into who owns you know who owns this company or this parent company you know you're going to see certain names coming up alright you know names that you and I know alright so they know that they, of course they're going to insist that it's safe all right they say we stand by our implantable products which have been approved by the fda and our other u.s regulatory authorities Sil scott silverman ferry chip corp chairman and chief executive officer said officer said in a written response to ap questions because um you know they, they couldn't buy the fda the standards of this world the standards of ESO. all right but really and truly what are the standards of the lord say you know it's not safe all right and we're gonna prove that when you watch this video, it's coming up video. It's next video, right? The company um, was not aware of any studies that are, that have resulted in malignant tumors in lab rats, mice, and certainly not dogs or cats. But he added that millions of domestic pets have been implanted with microchips without reports of significant problems, and that's because why they've been killing all those reports. Who controls the media? All right. E. That's the facts. Alright, so continuing here, it says, in fact, for more than 15 years, we have used our encapsulated glass transponders with FDA-approved anti-migration caps and received no complaints regarding malignant tumors caused by our product. Alright, um, the FDA also stands by its approval of the technology. Of course, the FDA stands by the approval. But who runs the FDA? Alright, awareness question, did the agency know of the tumors the tumor findings before approving the chip implants is a question the fda declined repeated ap requests to specify what studies it reviewed because you know if it if it, they couldn't um specify them because when you go into these studies studies are available for viewing all right and you can see the, you can see clearly that you know that they had issues with them so they wouldn't be able to they would, they would never um identify which studies because they didn't do any studies they didn't review any studies all right the FDA is overseen by the Department of Health and Human Services, right? So the Department of Health and Human Services overviews the FDA, right? Which at the time of Very Chip's approval was headed by Tommy Thompson, right? This guy Tommy Thompson, two weeks after the device's approval was formally announced, right? On January 10, 2005, Thompson left his cabinet post and within five months, was a board member on very chip corp you know you know an and apply digital solution which is the parent you know he was compensated in cash and stock options so so you tell me is that just a coincidence all right all right and so it says that the device was approved by the fda in january 10 2005 right you know and you know um ironically speaking let me check mark this here ironically speaking um that was the same year that um, the current president, Joe Biden, right, asked the questions to Roberts, the current chief justice, right, you know, you know, if they would, um, if they would, um, if he would um, approve the microchip, right, for every man, woman, and child, right? So let me see if I can go down here in this article, this article from C-SPAN, right? This was dated, I believe it's September the 12th, 2005. So between January and September, just about um about nine months. Just about nine months. Just about, you know, after the after the microchip was approved. Alright. Let's see what they say here. Just look, just bear with me a moment here.
Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Looking for this here, but uh. Alright, so this is it here. You know, Biden says, um, can a microscopic tag be impl implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There is actual discussion about that. You will rule on that, mark my words, before your 10 years over. So you see what you're saying here, you tell the judge that, you know, so they have everything planned out, you know, and the same judge as the chief justice right now, right? You know? So can brain scans be used to determine whether a person is inclined towards criminality or violent behavior? You will rule on that. And judge, I need to know whether you will be a justice who believes that a constitutional journey must continue to speak to those consequential decisions or that we have gone far enough in protecting against government intrusion into our autonomy, into the most personal decisions we make judge that is why this is a critical moment so you see he said it back in 2005 what over we've not been on 16 years now you know it's on this year would be 16 years all right so so this is all this was all planned all right so um let me see if i jump back here so it was all planned yeah. so you read here that um two weeks after the device's approval was formally announced on January 10th, 2005. So you see, um, in about about nine months later, you know, it's about nine months later, you know, the the he made his comments and after it was approved, right? And this guy Thompson, he just jumps ship, so you know, because he was uh, he was he was um, was as part of the plan, All right? Thompson, until recently a candidate for the 2008 Republican presidential nomination, says he had no personal relationship with the company. As the very chip as the very chip was being evaluated, nor did he play any role in FDA's approval process of the RFI tag. I know there's a lie, so we're gonna go to our scripture here. Alright. We're gonna go to Book of Psalms, chapter 58, and verse 3. The wicked are strange. This is Psalms 58 and 3. It reads, The wicked are strange from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Alright, you know, because their lie is a liar. Alright, you know, as all ease, you know, you know, he's always a liar and generally speaking, right? So um as soon as they're born they go ash you're telling lies, right? And then they love money, so there you have it. Um So he said I didn't even know very chip before I stepped down from the Department of Health and Human Services. Right? So of course he's lying. Also making no mention of findings on animal tumors was a June report by the Ethics Committee of the American Medical Association which touted the benefits of implantable RFID devices. Had committee members reviewed the literature on cancer in chipped animals? You know, that, that's the question, Slack here. Had committee members reviewed the literature on cancer in chipped animals? No, said Steve Stack, an EMA board member with knowledge of the committee's review, so they didn't review it, all right? Another question, was the EMA aware of the studies? He's, no, he said. No, they didn't check anything. They just, you know, they, this just the, this just the order they got handed down from the elites, and you know, they just executed. All right, published in veterinary and toxicology toxicology journals between 1996 and 2006. Ten years, right? Ten years. The studies found that lab mice and rats injected with microchips sometimes develop subcutaneous sarcomas, malignant tumors. Most of them encasing the implants. All right, so so obviously. So you can see the implant is the problem. In 1998, study in Ridgefield, Connecticut of 177 mice reported cancer incidence to be slightly higher than 10%. A result the researchers described as surprising, right? So that's a pretty high level, all right? And the human is built different from, the, from even the animals, so it might be worse. A 2006 study in France detected tumors in 4.1% of 1,260 microchip mice. This was one of six studies in which the scientists did not set out, did not set out to find microchip-induced cancer, but noticed the growths incidentally. All right, they were testing compounds on behalf of chemical and pharmaceutical companies, right? But they took, and who owns the pharmaceutical companies? Not the elite, the Rothschild, the Rockefeller, those guys. All right, so they're the ones that they fully aware of what this thing causes. All right, 
but they rule out the compounds as tumors as tumors cause right because uh researchers only noted the most obvious tumors these um these instances may therefore slightly underestimate the true occurrence of cancer right so it underestimates it so it might be worse in 1997 the study a study in germany found cancer in one percent of 4279 chip mice the tumors are clearly due to the implanted microchips the authors wrote it's clearly caveats accompany the findings blind um, leaps from the detection of tumors to the prediction of human health risk should be avoided one study caution right you know blind leaps from the detection of tumors to the prediction of human health should be avoided one study caution also because none of the studies had a control group of animals that did not get chips the normal rates of tumors cannot cannot be determined and compared to the rate which with chips implant which is nonsense all right because uh rats they when they've just developed too much just like that all right still after reviewing the research specialists at some preeminent cancer institutions said uh said the findings raise red flags all right there's no way in the world having read this information that i would have one of those chips implanted in my skin or in one of my family members said dr robert Benezra, right head of the cancer biology genetics program at the Memorial Sloan Catering Cancer Center in New York. Right? Dr. George Dimitri, the director of the Center for Sarcoma and Bone Oncology at the Dana Faber Cancer Institute in Boston, agreed. Even though the tumor incidences were reasonably small, in his view, the research underscored um, certainly real risks in RFID implants. In humans, sarcomas, which strike connective tissues, can range from the highly from the highly curable to tumors that are incredibly aggressive and can kill people in three to six months he said you know so some reason to be concerned right but um this article um this article goes on just goes on but um you know basically it's, it's a very good article to read i'll put in the description box um but really and truly, you know, this just proves what the men of Great Mills have been saying from Apostle to Hound Down. Right, that these things are no good. And that the mark the RFI chip is the mark of the beast according to Revelation 13 and 16. Alright? You know? You know all praises to our Basham Yosh that this truth is coming out. So I'm gonna go into a couple of scriptures here. Let's go to the book of um Let's go to the book of uh, Obadiah 1 verse 6. It reads how are the things of Esau searched out? How are, how are his hidden things sought up? You know, because the truth about these things, these these things are coming out, you know. And the study scripture say in 1 Corinthians 9 and 13, you know, we know in part and prophesy in part. Now we actually seeing the part that we put that was prophesied, you know. Now we now it's been made perfect, it's been made clear, everything has been made clear, you know. You know, and we know more than than you know the, the prophets are old, right? You know, back in the day, you know. So everything's been made perfect, right? The GMS doctrine is a hundred percent truth. All right, so, um, so that that's what's going on there, you know. And um, I'm gonna go to fact. Let me go to Psalms. Let me go to Isaiah. So like here, yeah, Isaiah 36 and verse six. It reads, um, "Lo, thou trusted in the staff of this broken reed, on Egypt." Right, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. Right, so is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. So, the staff of this broken reed will go into his hand and pierce it. You know, and that's and that's what's going on. You know, and that's what's going on here. And as two thirds is going to take that mark, and the heathen is going to take that mark. You know, and it's going to go into his hand and pierce it. Right, and it's going to be a snare unto them. All right, that's a snare unto them. And it's going to cause sores on the skin, you know. So I'll go to the video now that the brother did in GMS Watchmen. that so it's oozing pus too see as you squeeze it there you know it's oozing pus all right
there you have it all right so you see the um the grievous sword that burst out on the man's skin all right and that's a joke because um just as we read in the article you know it was they said there was a small percentage but remember with their 5g networks you know which they're busy working on right now and that's the reason why you can't find you can problems with the one for the microchips getting these semiconductor chips in the automotive industry because they've been they're working on you know in, um populating the whole world with these 5g towers mass producing them right so which is going to boost the signal you know um for the readers to read you to read the microchips that's going to be in people's hands all right because you know you know you need a reader to basically read the microchip the microchip is a passive device so you need a reader to read it but if they what will go on is that they will be constantly being reading information right which will create a lot of radiation in the person's body all right which is going to basically um make this saw this saw pop up on on a much higher percentage of people than what you saw on the animals what you saw on the mice and the rats all right um so so you know this this a snare onto those who take this stuff all right so all who trust in egypt you know all who trust in egypt will be punished all right and when you go back to when you go into this word um let's go to revelation revelation 16 and verse 2 revelation 16 and 2 reads and the first went out and poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which are the mark of the beast right the same mark of the beast as per revelation 13 and 16 and upon them which worshipped his image so when you go into the the blue letter bible all right you follow on a noisome noisome is talking about um strong's g 2556 carcass carcass it says of a bad nature not such as it ought to be of a mode of thinking feeling acting base wrong wicked troublesome injurious pernicious destructive so it's destructive sores right you know sores that shouldn't be there you know painful which going into death pain going into death right some people are going to die of it right a painful sore let's go back here Grievous, uh, grievous, uh, grievous. What's the word grievous? Is um. Strong's G forty one ninety, paneras, paneras. Right, so is that full of full of labors, annoyances, hardship, pressed, harassed by labors, bringing toils. Right, painful. So it's going to be painful, you know. And when I think about that, you think about the the boils that burst out on on um on Job's skin, and the boils that you know that the Lord sent when the plagues that He sent on Egypt. You know, all right. That that's that's the first. That's what comes to mind. All right. Those sort of boils. And a sore. Strong's G sixteen sixty eight. Helcus. Helcus. Right. It's a wound. A wound, especially a wound producing a discharge or pus, a sore or an ulcer. So he's talking about ulcers, cancerous. All right. That's cancer as you're talking about. You know? As just as you saw the man's hand was, was oozing pus when he squeezed it. And he think coming out and around his raw. Like I saw it was a probably was a boil first. Then it burst and then the pus came out. You know, that's the same way. Alright, so let's go back to the Old Testament and see that you know, in the book of um let's go Exodus 9 and verse 9. It reads, and it shall come. This is um, Moses, you know, basically talking to Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And it shall come, it shall become small dust in all the land of Egypt, and shall be a boil breaking forth with blains upon man and upon beasts throughout all the land of Egypt. Right? So, this is, this is the boils, right? Alright, so, let me see. A boil, right? Boil breaking forth. Strong's H seventy eight twenty two, Shechin, Shechin. Right, like a boil, boil and inflamed spot, inflammation and eruption. So what you saw there in the man hand, you know, it was first side as of as a boil likely, a can a saw, a boil boiling up and then it came inflamed, you know, and burst it erupted, right? The inflammation erupted, 
you know, and then he got the pus boost and out, and then the chip came out because the because the the tumor, the the tumor, the the, the sore formed the tumor formed around the around the microchip, right? The form it, it just just as you saw in the uh, just as we read in the um, as you seen that same article that we were reading, right? That's what happened there. All right. So when you go to let me see if I can do this. Right, it says a boil. Let me go meaning here. It's not the right one. Right, a boil is a bacterial skin infection that forms in hair follicles and oil glands. But um, this is you sound even be more serious because it's coming from any tissue, right? Boils usually develop in regions of the body that experience friction or pressure, such as the face, armpits, groins, shoulders, buttocks. Boils begin as painful red bumps that begin to fit, develop as pus-filled head as they progress. So this is even worse than you know, than a normal boil, right? This is going to be this is actually going to be in your flesh right a, 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 a infection in your flesh that's going to become cancerous because the tumor is going to grow around that foreign substance that foreign chip microchip all right um a sore that's re A sore of a part of one's body pain, painful or aching. She had a sore throat. Now let's go. Upset and angry. Yeah, it says a raw or painful place on the body. Right? There we go. Inflammation, swelling, lesion. So we saw just as we saw, look, a boil. They have a boil. See? You go back here. Boil. But it's just not talking about that boil. That's the wrong boil. Talking about boiler liquid, but we're talking about boilers in there and the infection. So it's really is an infection, you know. It could be that which become cancerous, right? Which which oozes pus. Alright. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about here. Alright, so that, so you get boils from ingrown here, so from you know, something like this. The one the one man had was even was much worse than this. It gets swollen and then it got swollen. And um hold a second. So it gets swollen. So it gets swollen and it comes like um inside the ooze pus, you know, and then it opens up and you saw the microchip just when you squeeze it, you know, along with the pus coming out, you saw the microchip came out and you took a hell it with his hand. Alright. So um you know that that's that's um basically what it is, you know, and these these people who take this thing, you know, they're gonna be so their heart is gonna be so hardened that they wouldn't repent. Alright, this is Revelation 16 and 11, it reads um and blasphemed and blasphemed the God of heaven, Yahweh Yahushai, because of their pains and their sores and repented not of their deeds, so they're gonna be blown a blasphemy in the name of the Lord. Right? Cursing out the Lord, you know. 
And they're going to do exactly what Job didn't do. Right? Because Job was a righteous man. The righteous wouldn't, wouldn't blaspheme the Lord. But the wicked would. Alright? And that's what's going to happen. Alright? So let me just close this out. Go to a quick, couple of quick scriptures. Book of Psalms. Chapter 52. And verse 1. In fact, verse 2. Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor, working deceitfully. This is Esau, right? Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness, Selah. And that's them, that's E. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue, right? The Most High shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place, and root thee out of the land of the living. You know, according to Obadiah 1, 1 and 18. Esau is going to be put to death. And it shall be no more. Alright? Thus says the Lord. Alright? Just for lying and deceiving the whole earth. Alright? And I'm just going to go quickly to Psalms 140, verse 8. You know? It's a prayer, you know? Psalms 140. And it says, Grant not, O Lord, O Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the desires of the wicked, further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. And the Lord is not going to exalt themselves because as we read in as we read in the last scripture, uh read in the Psalms 52 and verse uh, 5, the most high shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. And that's that's the that's the punishment for all those who you know for those who in this place, you know, for two thirds of Jake, they're gonna be destroyed. For the heathen, well, yeah, they're going to go into captivity, you know, and they're going to be destroyed. The rest, of, Some of them are going to be destroyed, right? So, I pray that this lesson has been edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakudash, right? Tawal on us unto the apostles and the elders for teaching us this truth, right? Wa Abad Babal Shalom.